And uh, so, you know, we've covered that. We, we've gone over it, and I've warned malicious. Anybody that starts calling for violence in your ranks, 95% of the time they're a fed, and you better rebuke them and expose them immediately, or they are going to set you up. And then you notice the groups that build a straw man and say, I'm criticizing the militia. That's not what I've done. That shows you who the feds are. Because they don't want me up here warning people. They want to be able to go and set up the militias and do this around the country and demonize the Tea Parties and the militia movement that Edwin Vieira and others have promoted uh, for so long. So I appreciate your call. We're going to come back with our guest, and we'll also try to jam a few phone calls in with him as well on the other side of this break. And talking about the films... Uh, we released two films the last three weeks, Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA, and Invisible Empire, New Order Defined, both available on DVD at InfoWars.com. They're informative films, and your purchase supports the broadcast. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Don't answer it. If fear strikes your heart when the phone rings, knowing it may be another bill collector, it's time for you to call Zero Debt in 90 Days, 800-477-9256. Settlements, bankruptcy, and attorneys are not the answer and may end up costing you up to 10 times more than necessary. Listen, if you're already in debt, does it make sense to get buried in another payment plan? Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt in 90 days guaranteed without a payment plan and without attorneys or going to court. Get the fastest relief from debt on the planet when you call 800-477-9256. If you have debt with the IRS, credit cards, student loans, or a foreclosure, we can help at zero debt in 90 days, and we are the only organization to provide written guarantees on the results. Go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. Or call now for free information, 800-477-9256. That's 800-477-9256. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are back live. Judge Andrew Napolitano is our guest uh, for the rest of the hour, rest of the broadcast. I want to say congratulations. He's going to be starting in the next few months. Uh, his show on the Fox Business TV Network. And that'll definitely get the highest ratings on that channel because he is a constitutionalist. And I agree with Judge Andrew Napolitano on almost every issue. In fact, I've never really found anything I disagree with him uh, on. But it caused quite a stir this week. I'm sure most of you know about it. We played a clip of it at the start of the show uh, earlier today 
where he said, look, uh, the federal government's uh, courts are going to find this unconstitutional. And, and that is one of the powers the federal government has, uh, one of the three powers. And, of course, he's a former federal judge, constitutional law scholar. And uh, you know, he's saying that this is going to turn off Hispanics to the Republican Party. My issue is I've seen the Gallup polls as high as 80 percent of Hispanic Americans want to control the borders because they know it's driving down wages. I mean, there's a six plus billion people that want to come here. And if we didn't have the big welfare system that would bankrupt us, then I would be for the type of totally open immigration we had 100 years ago. But even 100 years ago. Those numbers per capita are much smaller than they are now. But here to talk about this out of the gates is Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, good to have you here with oh, us. Oh, Alex, it's always a pleasure. Now, now you can say that there isn't anything that we disagree on because that's the key, is the social benefit welfare system we have here, which draws good, hardworking people but lazy people that want the government to take care of them cradle to grave. In, in the break, we were talking about how my grandparents came here. I mean, they came here, they registered at Ellis Island, they, they got the vaccinations to make sure they didn't have any communicable diseases, and that was it. They didn't have to meet a quota. They, they went to school, they learned uh, English, they became uh, productive uh, members of society, they didn't have to carry any ID, they became citizens as uh, children when their parents became uh, citizens. But that was before the dictatorship of Franklin Delano Roosevelt which, of course, uh, established the, um, changed the relationship of the federal government to individuals by taxing from A to give to B. Um, I always like to tell this story. Uh, you knock at, uh, there's a knock on your door. You open the door. There's a guy with a gun. And the guy says, give me your money. I, I want to distribute it to other people. I want to be charitable in your name. You call the police. You find out. He is the police. I mean, that's basically what the government does. You can't be charitable with other people's money. You can only be charitable with your own. But it forces us to give money away to people that we would choose not to give it away. There's no authority for that in the Constitution. FDR cowed uh, the Supreme Court. FDR uh, used all kinds of political favors to get a Democratic Congress to start giving money away. And every president since then, even Ronald Reagan, added to that. The worst, of course, was, was LBJ. As a result, you could come here legally or illegally and be taken care of cradle to grave by the federal government. That's what draws people here. Now, back to what you talked about. Yes, I was on with Neil Cavuto talking about whether or not Governor Blagojevich can subpoena the president. Answer, yes, and I hope he does. I would love to see the president under oath in a federal courtroom in Chicago explaining how the corrupt system of Democratic politics, probably Republican politics as well, but here it's Democratic under scrutiny works. As sort of a throwaway question, meaning we had about 40 seconds left. Neil says to me, by the way, Judge, Governor Brewer just signed this piece of legislation in Arizona. What do you think about it? And, of course, I said, you know, I'm, I believe in state sovereignty. I believe in state sovereignty so much that I think that the states can take back the agreement they made with the federal government, that they can nullify what the federal government does, that they can secede from the union. However, the one legitimate power that the feds do have is the power to regulate foreign affairs and to regulate foreign people. And the state of Arizona doesn't have any power there. Moreover, the state of Arizona does not have the power to say to its cops, you can stop people on the basis of the way they look and ask them to prove a negative on the spot. The negative is that they're not here illegally. We fought a cold war against countries in Eastern Europe that thought they had the power to stop people on the basis of the way they looked and demand to see their papers. If, if this law is enforced, a federal judge might say, you know what, Alex, it's unfair to only make the immigrants carry ID cards. So the only way to do this, here's the slippery slope, is for everybody to carry ID cards. You think I'm making this up? But this Judge, let me, let me interject, but that's not the slippery slope. That's indeed what's happening, as you know. Exactly, Obama, Charlie. Obama and Bush's uh, amnesty plan makes everybody have a worker ID card and basically just legalizes all the illegals. So I go back to the previous point. If people come across the border an hour before their water breaks, everything's paid for, the kid becomes a citizen, the parents are there, I've got to pay for it in a democracy, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. This is a giant voting block that generally votes to take my guns, take my private property, and make me their slave. They're being used as a client of the big federal government. Exactly. Exactly. I agree with, uh, I agree with everything. So what do we you... do then? What do we do when the feds won't carry out one of their only legitimate powers? Doesn't it fall back to the Ninth and Tenth Amendment that the states are, I mean, I guess the legitimate way would be then for Arizona to secede? Yes. 
That would be the constitutional way for Arizona to do it. The, the, the better way would be to elect a federal government willing to enforce.